Hello and welcome into a very special late night tarot reading. I wanted to do this special tarot reading on this night. This is a very special portal night. So this is um, where this is February 28th and we are going through a portal day today and this is also leap year and so there is tomorrow so this is also this is a void day and tomorrow is also a void day and what's so incredible about this is we just went through this void on the Schumann resonance as well right here we just went through this void and I we went through a, a short void do you see the small one you guys the really thin one and then the big one right after so um, we went through this this little glitch right and and then a big a big void so this was another reset and I was just talking about a timeline reset so this is that uh, timeline uh, reset that I was talking about merging of the timelines merging of the timelines so this is really incredible information I just uh, finished listening to Paul White Gold Eagle who put out a video about this and I was wondering I saw the I saw what was going on with the Schumann resonance and I thought I went and checked YouTube right away and I was like someone surely someone's gonna say something about this right so I um, I looked it up and I, I didn't see anything yet but this evening uh, there was a beautiful message from Paul White Gold Eagle so I, hopefully you check out his video. I do recommend it. But he said today was an incredible conjunction of, I believe it was Saturn, the Sun, and was it Mars? Let me check really quick. This is a very powerful conjunction that was happening today. And this is a portal, and it was a day that starts off uh, on the, a new wave spell on the Mayan calendar. don't remember exactly what that is right offhand, but I can check what this conjunction is really quick. Mercury conjunction. Uh, okay, so we've got the Sun, Mercury, and Saturn in Aquarius. Venus and Mars in Capricorn. The Sun, Mercury, and Saturn in Aquarius. Oh, that's my sign. I love that. So the Sun, Mercury, and Saturn in Aquarius. And this is a very special portal day. Again, this is the day out of time. So we have two days out of time. And I wanted to do a very special late night reading for you guys. So this is a very special candlelight reading. I'm going to see what spirit has to say on this special portal day when the veil is thin and we are in this void space of this zero point. So I hope you'll enjoy this tarot and tea with me. Hello um, and welcome in. My name is Luna. If you're new here, my name is Luna. I am your Oracle Starlight. I channel messages from Archangel Star Beings and Highest Light Spirit Guides for your greatest good. I was sent by the Council of Light and I'm here to get you to your highest timeline, that golden timeline. So if you're interested in anything like that, please go ahead and hit like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I come out with a new reading. Not only does this help me to pick up on your energy so I can channel for you more directly, but it helps me to share my light and love with the world for which I am ever so grateful. I'll have links below in the description if you would like a personal reading. A link to my Manifest Frequency channel, where I put out frequency music and subliminals to help you manifest your ultimate reality. Subliminals are one of the most helpful ways to reprogram the subconscious mind, which will greatly change you and your reality. So be sure to check that out. Um, and I'll have links to all the cards if you're interested in anything like that. So let's go ahead and see what Spirit wants us to know this evening. I'm feeling this uh, Tarot of the Divine. Uh, thank you, Archangel Michael, for holding this space. And you know what? I got a couple of cards, and then they, they told me I haven't cleansed yet, so I need to do that. Ooh, we have the Queen of Coins and the High Priestess. The Queen of Coins and the High Priestess. Can you see that? The Queen of Coins and the High Priestess. Now, I've been seeing this Queen of Coins a lot lately. Oh, gosh, did I did I move my my lighter? I think I did. I was lighting all the candles. Oh, here it is. Here we go. And blessings to you on this beautiful portal. We just went through a really incredible portal and we're going through another it's just one continual, continuous portal after another, it seems here. One continuous portal after another. Here we go. And I'm going to bless. 
bless you and bless this reading. And we're going to cleanse your space and mind. Cleanse any sort of energies around you as you go through this void space, as you go through this portal and every continuum portal. And time is not linear, so this can come to you at any time. This will come to you right when you need it. All of my readings are timeless. I think I'm going to run my third eye chakra bowl here really quick as well. Let me go ahead and I'm going to place this post onto it right here. There we go. And I'm going to turn this off. There we go. I realized I had my air filter on. from this third eye chakra bowl. So we've got the the High Priestess and the Queen of Coins. This is to help you open your third eye through this portal. Please take a deep breath in. And breathe out. And these are going to be messages for the collective. I read from the collective, so please only take what resonates. And this is a collective message through this incredible portal. So we've got the High Priestess and the Queen of Coins. So you've been delving into the mystery and using this high priestess ability. So this is a high priestess awakening. There's a high priestess awakening that's been happening on this portal. And I feel with the high priestess as well, I'm feeling that there's been a need to stay within the mystery and to stay hidden. Like things that were secret, things that were hidden, they're coming to light. So with the queen of coins, it's like a rebirth of the divine feminine into this new earth energy. This is a stable, a stable feminine, uh, uh, a um, fortuitous feminine. So this is abundant, uh, an abundant feminine. Uh, this is the Lakshmi and uh, energy that I'm feeling. So what do you have to say, spirit? about this, this queen of coins, this high priestess. We're talking about the divine feminine here. So this divine feminine. The nine of cups. So you guys are moving to this beautiful nine of cups energy. This is ultimate completion. So because of this divine feminine rising, this divine feminine rising and moving into her sovereignty onto the earth. So this is moving into that queen of coins positioning, moving into her sovereignty on the earth. This is what's bringing about this um, nine of cups, this nine of cups. So this is ultimate emotional fulfillment and completion. This is, again, this is an end of a cycle. So it's, uh, it's a beautiful completion of a cycle. And it's bringing heaven on earth. This is what I'm hearing. It's bringing heaven on earth. And that's what this new earth energy is all about. It's about bringing heaven on earth. It's about bringing these energies to the world. See, a completion. That's what I was saying. Ultimate completion. This is the world energies. It's bringing these new energies into the new earth. To the whole world. To the entire world. This divine feminine rising. Divine masculine as well. Take this how it resonates. We all have a combination of the divine masculine and the divine feminine within us. But this is the divine feminine has been oppressed upon the earth for so long. And this is the goddess rising. This is the goddess rising, bringing about this pleasure, bringing about this pleasure upon the earth to the whole earth. And this is bringing about these divine partnerships with the world. It's bringing about these, look at this union, this union. It's a coupling with spirit joy and completion go into the world I'm feeling I need to change decks let's see Luna Lopin deck this is my my moon rabbit deck mm -hmm. 
That's exactly right. That's exactly what I was feeling, you guys. <clears throat> the four of wands. The four of wands and the three the three of wands and the four of wands so it's moving forward so again i said we're going through this portal and there's a merging of timelines so i just did a reading earlier you guys if you haven't read it uh watched it already it should go out before this one i believe so it was the sky scrying video and my sky scrying video i was talking about these divine partnerships coming together and this is what I was seeing right here. And then I see this three of wands. And I said it's talking about going towards each other. So you see the three of wands. The three of wands is looking towards this journey. I'm hearing like one if by land, two if by sea. It's funny. I have these two lanterns. And I was wanting to light them. I, ha I used to have three lanterns. And then there's two. And uh, Paul Revere was one of the... One of the um, poems they made me memorize, they had me memorize when I was a child, so this was, um, this always is ringing in my head. It's been ringing in my head a lot lately. It has to do with these, um, these end times and these judgment energies that's coming through. And I'm hearing, so it's one if by land and two if by sea, so it's like where the partner is coming from, right? So where these star seeds are coming together, so they're looking out at the journey. They're looking out at the journey, um, of coming to you or you going to them. Uh, for some of you, maybe you're already together and you're thinking about journeying off into the world. See, or maybe you're moving into marriage. Maybe you're moving into partnership. See, this is this completion. It's moving. This is marriage. It's the, it's the four of wands. It's your energies combining to make this solid, stable foundation. And this is a solid, stable foundation for the earth. This is the star seeds coming together. Star seeds coming together. I'm feeling I need to pull some oracle cards. And this is from the Crystallary Oracle. We're going to get a message here. What do you have for a spirit? Okay, so this is a a transformation, transmutation, black tourmaline, transmutation. And it says transmutation, this is black tourmaline, but do you know what I'm seeing here? I'm seeing these magnets. I'm seeing these magnets drawing, uh, drawing these star seeds together, drawing these companions together, drawing these divine unions, or um, even just these uh, soul family, star family, drawing them together. They're attracting each other. By speaking their truth by transmuting these energies see they both have the ability to transmute these energies around them and maybe they've been doing this for a long time transmuting all the energies around them and it's time for them to blossom it's time to come for them to come together and blossom instead of having to transmute the energies all around them all the time we're gonna get another crystallary card Oh gosh, Almondine Garnet, Lessons in Blood, Lessons in Blood, Almondine Garnet, Lessons in Blood. Now do you see this tree? You see this coat of arms? See, this is a bloodline thing. This is an ancient bloodline thing. This is the chosen ones, these royal star seeds connecting to the tree of life. And coming from these royal star seed bloodlines, this is clearing the bloodlines, clearing the energies lessons in the blood this is connecting to the dna connecting to your ancestry connecting to your ancestral origins and discovering who you are discovering who you are to blossom this new earth that you are this divine chosen starseed you are this divine chosen one going through this beautiful ascension portal going through this void space Getting some Gateway of Light activation cards. Orion activation. Orion activation. Let's see what it says in the candlelight. I can barely read it in here, you guys. A supernova. Supernova, recreation, renewal, rebirthed by light. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I was just talking about and it's just in this last reading I just put out. So be sure to check it out if you haven't seen it already. But I was talking about how the star was becoming a sun. Uh, so it's this bursting forth of the energy, the bursting forth of energies. And it could have to do with this great solar flash everyone keeps talking about, right? The great solar flash, this bursting forth, this supernova, supernova. And I said, and then we're bringing forth these creation energies. So this recreation, we're recreating the earth. We're recreating recreating this new earth, recreating this new earth, and this is a rebirth for us. It's a rebirth and a regeneration, so this is renewing. It's going to be renewing for you. It's going to be renewing for your energy, your life force, your chi. It's going to be renewing your energies, and, and again, I said rebirth, and it says rebirth by light. Rebirth by the light, so it's this light from these solar flares. It's this light energy that's coming in. These light activations, these light language activations, the lights that you're getting from all the star beings, all the light beings around you that are activating you. It's an Orion activation. I've been seeing Orion in the sky. It's out every night when I go and look. I've always looked for Orion in the sky, the hunter. Orion, the hunter. It's very connected to my father's lineage, Orion. My mother, Pleiades. So I always looked for Pleiades too, the seven sisters. So I always look for Orion when I go outside. I've been getting really good messages. I know I've done a lot of work to heal from these Orion Wars. So if you haven't already, you could be healing from these Orion Wars through this portal. Activating these divine chosen ones, activating these soldiers. I'm seeing these soldiers. These warriors, these spiritual warriors, you are a spiritual warrior. Angelic, ooh, I, saw, I was thinking angelic stargate, angelic gateway. This is a seraphim gateway. And I said angelic, so you're surrounded by the angels. This is definitely guided by the angels. The angels are with us through this time. And it's all this beautiful light that they're bringing in, all these beautiful energies, these frequencies that are helping to transmute all these energies in this time and bring this ascension to the new earth. This is the seraphim gateway of voice activation, angelic attunement, and divine support. So you were supported by the angels, you were supported by the divine. You're being attuned to these angelic frequencies now. As a matter of fact, I have angelic frequencies playing. I have 1333, which is out in my Come to Oneness. And it's also in uh, most of my Diamond Light frequency videos. Be sure to check those out, but this is angelic attunement. So this is attuning you to those higher frequencies, these higher angelic frequencies. This is going to be very, uh, very uplifting for you. You might feel different uh, in your mind, body, and spirit. You could see your physical reality looking different as well. We're going to get some more tarot cards. Oh my gosh, look at this happy family. These star seeds coming together. The moon. The moon. There was a lot of mystery. And I feel, again, it's like the sun and the moon coming together. They're showing me the eight of wands. It was just popping out of the deck. It was backwards, poking out of the deck. Did you see that, you guys? Eight of wands. Eight of wands. Eight of wands. It's all this energy. All this energy coming in, all this fire coming in for you, Divine Feminine. All these energies coming in to give you this fire this i feeling dragon energy this dragon energy to move you forward to raise you up bring these dragons into the earth bringing a healing these bloodline curses transmuting these energies i said the sun see it's taking you to the sun it's the sun and the moon coming together Got the sun and the moon energy, so this is a combining of the divine masculine and the divine feminine. For some of you, this is a combining of the divine masculine and the divine feminine within you. Bringing about this incredible ascension, this incredible dragon ascension, this kundalini rising. That was in my video as well, this last video, the kundalini rising. And that's exactly what Paul White Gold Eagle was talking about as well. This kundalini rising, the hierophant and the king of swords. The hierophant and the king of swords. The Hierophant, so I've got the sun and the moon. So you're coming up to this divine, you're coming up to um, your 
sovereignty. And that's exactly what I was saying. You're coming up to sovereignty. You're coming up to your sovereignty over the earth. And these unions are coming to sovereignty. And this is, again, the Hierophant with the sun and the moon and this uh, beautiful wedding, this beautiful marriage. It's beautiful divine partnerships coming together, the sun and the moon combining. This is a sacred union, a sacred union. King of Swords, keeping away all other energies. King of Swords, very, very intelligent, very intelligent. The masculine, divine masculine is using his intellect. He's very intelligent. There may have been new information that's come in for him recently. Um, I feel like he's using all of his, his intelligence to get to the divine feminine. Show me a little bit more about this king of swords. The chariot and the seven of wands. The chariot and the seven of wands. See, I see, I see, look, he's coming and he's fighting away all the other energies. <laughs> So for some of you with these divine partnerships that are coming through, it's the, the king of swords, the king of swords. That's, that's really incredible. I was just, I was just thinking the other day, I almost did a short on it, you guys, of, um, when you suddenly, when you suddenly realize you're the queen of swords <laughs> and I embody all the energies and I, I hope you embody all of the energies of the queens of the tarot as well. But this queen of swords energy, I've been feeling a lot lately. And now here comes the king of swords, the king of swords, also the king of keeping them all back, keeping all those other energies away and cutting through all the bullshit, right? This is the cutting through, cutting through everything. And I'm I'm feeling a magician energy here, seeing the sword of the air, and I'm feeling this is connected to Aether as well. And then I'm seeing this um, as a, also as magician energy, which makes sense with these wands. But I feel I feel like it's this is all the passionate energy coming for the divine feminine. See, the divine feminine has lots of options, right? Um, she has because she's the divine feminine. She's going to attract, just attract, um, attract, and. Uh, the Divine Masculine is going to fend off all these attractors. So with the Chariot, um, he's coming forward to fend off all the other passionate pursuits, all these other um, fiery energies trying to come for the Divine Feminine. And that's a little message uh, for those of you that are already within Union. This is what he's doing. He's already done this. <laughs> so take it as it resonates. This is past, present, or future energy. Is there anything else you want to tell us, Spirit, about this beautiful divine portal? I'm feeling, ooh, I'm feeling some of these cards here. My Earth Alchemy Oracle cards. I love these cards so much. They want me to do it like this again. Okay. So we have a Fulgurite and Rose Bay Willow Herb Regeneration. And this is what we were saying. This is said renewal, rebirth. And I was saying regeneration. And here's this coming out. It's like I'm psychic, right, you guys? But here's this coming out. This is a regeneration. Acceleration, change, and shamanic wisdom. So again, I said this is a great acceleration. And I think you're getting great shamanic wisdom by learning to transmute these energies. This big uh, Orion activation that's happening right now this rebirth, this renewal, and connecting to your DNA, connecting to your uh, ancestry as well, your ancestors. This is regenerating the bloodlines. Uh, this is regenerating the earth. I know this is probably really hard to see you guys, but do you see the lightning coming through? The lightning coming through and, uh, and really affecting great change. Affecting great change. This matcha is really incredible. I'm super happy to have it. They were wanting me to check out the bottom of the deck. And I see Shamata Light and Fern. So this is Akasha. And that's what I was talking about, connecting to um, connecting to your past lives, connecting to your um, your past lives and on other uh, your past lives here on Earth if you've had them here. It could be your past lives in other dimensions. Uh, this we, who knows how far you go back. Who knows how far you go back? You could be quite ancient. With a spiral, if you connect all the way back to source, you could be quite ancient like me. 
and you have to go back very far, <laughs> very far to pull up all the information, to bring back all the information. And I've got most of the information. I don't have it all yet, but I still ha I have a lot of it. I remember at one point I didn't, uh, I didn't know a lot of things and I was so excited when I was I went through a shamanic a journey where I had this point in my mind. They want me to tell you about it now. There's a point in my mind, a spot in my past. And it was like I left this imprint right here, right there, this spot in the past. I could tease away with it in my mind. And now I have my spirit guides working with me and Astral were doing this um, within my inner temple, in my inner temple. Um, but I'm in another dimension. <laughs> I am in another dimension doing this, but it's uh, I'm teasing away at the bits within my mind and there's a there's this this one spot and I could feel it right there and as I tease away at it it all it all starts flowing out and I had left myself like a back door. I'd left myself a um, an in. All I had to do was go into this one spot where there's and I left myself this whole packet of information and I got this wave of information that flooded over me and I was just I was like oh I know so much stuff now it was incredible so maybe you could have an experience like this or maybe you've already had an experience like this um, and this is going within going within and being rebirthed anew being rebirthed anew because you've gathered all of this information from the past, uh, from your past self, uh, from past timelines, even just knowing the truth, knowing the truth about yourself and where you're from and who you are. This is creating a great portal because you are, you are incredibly powerful. You are an incredibly powerful chosen one and you came here to do great regeneration, great regeneration for the earth, great renewal for the earth. And you're doing just that. And this is the information that wanted to come through for you through this powerful portal. Also about these beautiful divine partnerships and marriage. But we've got this uh, nine of cups. The nine of cups. The world. And the four of wands. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't it beautiful? Truly beautiful. It is. It really is. Uh, I'm so excited, you guys. This was a beautiful reading. I really enjoyed it. I've been reading for about 30 minutes, so I think that's probably, I guess it's like 20, oh, I saw 27.57 on the clock, 27.57. Um, so I, I was so happy to do this beautiful, special late night evening reading, uh, candlelight reading for you on this portal. Let me go if, know if you guys like it. I'm kind of trying to work with the angle so you can see cards, see me, just so I can set up to do shorter readings in between, just when I feel led sometimes. So I love having you guys' feedback. Thank you so much um, for being here and sharing this journey with me. I am ever so grateful for you. So I'm sending you so much light and love through this incredibly powerful portal and I'll talk to you guys soon.